Marco is a little weaker, those max winds 70 miles per hour. Here is a look at Marco, and recently I have seen lightning that's occurring, and that seems to be flaring up. That very heavy rain over towards Apalachicola, Florida, has begun to diminish. It's moving north-northwest, and you can see kind of that north-northwest movement, and then the dry air hits it, and it begins to diminish. Here is a look at that forecast track. And it is still forecast to move towards southeast Louisiana and then move along our coast. Now, the Hurricane Center says low confidence in this forecast track and also the potential that it could become a remnant low. So we look at the forecast bringing it up to the mouth of the Mississippi River or possibly Grand Isle with 70 mile per hour winds, then moving it to the west and it begins to diminish across the area. Then we can look at those forecast track and there is a look at the spaghetti model showing that westward movement. Here is a look at Laura. Laura is a little bit stronger max wind 65 miles per hour forecast to move in the warm waters of the Caribbean just to the south of Cuba then into the Gulf of Mexico and forecast to become a category 2 hurricane with winds of 105 miles per hour notice how the forecast track has shifted to the east across Louisiana. So there a look at Laura. Laura is looking better organized. Here a look at Margo, not so, or Marco, not so organized. Uh, dealing with the dry air, the strong winds aloft, but look at how it's definitely moving to the north, the heavier rain moving to the north, and all of that rain really more so on the northeast side. So where is the center? Possibly somewhere in here, dealing with that strong southwest shear, kind of pushing the rain to the northeast. So keep in mind, this whole area is supposedly moving to the northwest. I'm not convinced of it simply because we've got so much dry air in place that is certainly going to impact it. So there, a look at the system. We can look at the steering current. You've got this big trough of low pressure that's helping to cause the strong winds aloft and steer it to the north. Over here, high pressure that is beginning to build in. You can see that westward motion and will eventually, supposedly, turn it more to the west-northwest. So there, a look at that forecast track. And again, Hurricane Center saying low confidence. And yet, should you get this northwest push, you would have water being pushed on shore, and you would also have that potential for rain. Here is a look at Laura. Laura is moving very quickly to the west-northwest, 21 miles per hour. Kind of looks like it's bubbling up. It's over that very warm water. Water temperatures here in the mid-80s, and then they reach the upper 80s. There, the forecast track. Look at how the cone is now much closer to southeast Louisiana and over parts of southeast Louisiana. There you can see those winds possibly as high as 105 miles per hour. Remember, this cone shows you where the center goes two out of three times, one out of three times, it is outside of the cone. Certainly the potential for power outages as you go into Monday, also into Tuesday. So be aware of that, though this looks like a low end risk. We do have the flash flood watch in effect. We haven't had much rain. We weren't expecting it for your Sunday. North Shore looking pretty good. South Shore every now and then seeing a few fast moving showers, but it's not too bad. To the south of the coast, not looking bad. But you look to the east, here we're beginning to see this rain. It's going to be moving towards St. Bernard and towards Plaquemines Parish. And here that larger area of rain associated with Marco, well displaced from the center of that storm. So there is a low end risk for severe storms tomorrow. That would simply be should a rain band move on shore. We can look at the forecast and notice St. Bernard. This is going into your noontime hour, showing that potential for the heavier rain. Then it's spreading into Bell Chase. 
into the lakefront with the potential for one to two to three plus inches of rain. This is Tuesday going into Wednesday and we see that rain adding up. That would be associated with Laura and this has been indicating for the entire period a potential for seven inches of rain that some of us could see. So we're looking at the forecast for temperatures and rainfall and it's also got the wind in there. We were seeing rain just offshore from St. Bernard, sure enough, showing it moving onshore. And as we look at this notice, remember all of the heavier rain to the east of the center, showing that heavier rain moving up towards Mobile Bay and then as you go into Monday night, more rain moving in south Mississippi, getting in on the action. And then we see that rain moving into south Mississippi for your Tuesday, late Tuesday. And then as you go into uh, Wednesday, we'll have the rain chances going up. What about wind? Well, as we go into the morning, you'll see the winds increasing, especially in the afternoon, 38, 34, 36 miles per hour, 41 mile per hour winds Monday night, and that persistent east wind, which would be pushing water on shore. So we're going to have to watch for that. Tuesday night, still a persistent east flow. And as you go into your Wednesday, this is the potential that we could get Laura. And a few of these models have shown that moving up across Terrebonne Parish and then to the northwest. So we're going to be here overnight keeping you posted with full reports as we go into our morning shows. We now return to your regular programming.